I'm here with Nestor. Nestor is a Chicago guy, and he came out here Hello. to DragCon to show off his stuff. Yes, explode all over LA and show them that Chicago does have girth. <laughs> it does have girth yeah. for sure. I can testify. Yeah. And so you're mostly here for uh, your photography, or what else are you selling? Um, everything, basically clothing, the t-shirts, uh, stuff with my uh, costume design partner, Randall. We've done stuff for Pearl Gia Gunn, uh, Nasha Lopez. Uh, are you the guy who uh, Rhinestone Gia is gone? Uh, no, she bought that in the alley, but that's actually my gun she borrowed, and she never She's gave it She's a thief. We all kind of knew that about Gia, didn't we? Uh -huh. She's a shady lady. No, we love Gia, absolutely. Yeah. So show us what you got. What do you got here? Okay, so this is actually the jacket that had Monica Beverly Hills sashay away. Uh, I it's think, cursed! Yeah, I think Santino said it was, she was an airline stewardess, but he's no longer on the show, so that's fine. Okay. Um, well, neither is Monica Beverly Hills. This is a, uh, this is a sequin dress that's by Felicia. It's been seen on Jasmine Hernandez and uh, um, Alyssa Edwards. Um, and then these are a lot of my t-shirts. They're all full print uh, uh, t-shirts on side and then they're hand painted on the other side um, just to give it that artsy little flair. Who's this old lady you have on it? Which one, this one? No, oh, this, this, this one. Pick she's one. There's a, she's a skanky old lady. Who is she? It's probably, hey. it might be, I hope it's not your mom. No, no well, this one? one's actually my mom. The one you're talking what? about is probably my grandmother. <laughs> this is my mother. She wears oh. prosthetic lips. Uh, I duct taped her face back. She's wearing a neck brace. And she just came out of surgery. Wow, that looks really fantastic. Funny story, I was supposed to do the concept of this shoot with Pearl, but she had already been on Drag Race and was way too busy. So I'm like, the next best thing is my mother. Let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> After Pearl comes mom. Yeah, exactly. Well, this is fantastic, um, now, Nestor. Let me just show you guys this book, which I finally made. So this is my first book. It's filled with a lot of the photo shoots that I've done over the years. A lot of stuff that I haven't released publicly. Uh, men, women, children, drag queens, trans, post, pre-op, everyone's in here. Oh. It was, it was Pearl before she became famous. Exactly. Just in the clam, exactly. Valentine's gonna be here tomorrow too. Nestor, tell us about this wall of uh, glory here. Uh, well, the wall of glory is pretty much all the photo shoots are very heavily concept driven. Um, this is Aurora Sexton, Chicago legend. Um, she's basically portraying Dolly. She's dancing on Jolene's grave. Jolene died before her. This is my mom living her Hollywood fantasy. Um, I kind of wanted to flip the script on the whole horror movie uh, scene where I got so tired of seeing so many women with tits. What are the killers wearing? What are they doing? What do they look like underneath their clothes? I really like that body. Yeah, exactly. I would. I would do him even if he was wearing that mask. Exactly, that makes it hotter. I want to um, see his chainsaw. Here is uh, Monica Beverly Hills. I actually did this before uh, in college. I was obviously inspired by Whitney's um, Olympic uh, look. Uh, way before she died, so that kind of was a little spooky. Oh, uh, she's you, got a little blood coming out of her nose. From the cocaine. Exactly. Well, you know, Monica has a secret. She's not from Beverly Hills. Exactly. Well, now <laughs> she's here, so she's going to try to be from there. Okay. Um, what else you got? What's, what's this little cubby hole? Do you have like a glory hole back here? What's I happening? I wish I did. I saw Willem building it. What's one. going on well, back here? It's a gallery space, but oh. no one's like smart enough to figure it. Okay. So you're supposed you you walk through here and you see all of the prints. There's so many prints here and they're all framed, so they're all ready to just go pick them up and take them with you. And then I made these boxes inspired by the uh, Mexican Day of the Dead boxes. So they're all intricate. They're all hand done with tons of just tchotchkes and stuff. And here's a little Jason one with some trees. Ooh, Jason's got a hot ass. Yeah, exactly. Get that hot butt. Some arms, some bejeweled uh, wood. Everyone loves wood. And then um, the calendar, which I also have, um, filled with more, even more photos and just tons of crazy. Well, Nestor, I wish you luck here at DragCon, and we will so see fun. you in Chicago. What is your booth number? The booth number is 409. 409, that's a very lucky number.